I'm Ross now with your closing comments for Friday, December 11th. Uh, we had an update here to finish the week, which is pretty encouraging here. Nice close in the technical charts. Uh, so corn finished up two and a quarter. We had uh, soybeans up seven and three quarter. Chicago wheat uh, leading the charge here up 18 into the close. Uh, Minneapolis up seven and a half and, Ch and KC wheat up 17 three quarters. So wheat, of course, leading the complex here that was uh, tied to uh, chatter over Russia, possibly imposing some in our export tariffs on wheat. And also we continue to get some uh, weather, in a, even domestically here, where winter wheat is still a concern due to the dry regions around the area. So on the week, we had uh, corn that finished up three cents, soybeans down about two and a half. And Chicago wheat finished up 39 cents on the week. Uh, Minneapolis wheat up nine and a half, and KC wheat up 38 and a half cents. Uh, pretty impressive there. Over in the livestock, um, we had another a strong close in the live cattle again. Um, so we had live cattle up 82 and a half cents December, February up buck 40. Um, Peter cattle up about 2 212 on the day and the hogs finished down on the day. So in the cattle market again on the week, very much unchanged for the feeders and lives. Well hogs finished down about 20 in the week. Um, back into the cattle market, we did a cut up, cutouts down sharply all week long again, following with last last week's trend. Uh, we also had futures contrary to that. It almost looked evident that we had some long cattle short hog spread trading going on. Um, at the same time, that's pretty common this time of year as the funds tend to lean those directions. Um, in the hog market, cutouts were a little bit lower and cash just slightly lower in the week. Uh, we're continuing to miss the bigger export numbers in, in livestock all around. We'd like to see those come back in, in the new year here. I'll leave you with the disclaimer. Past performance is not indicative of futures results. Futures and option trading involves risk of loss. It's not suitable for all producers.